you want to find the volume where the base is the region enclosed by uh, absolute value of x plus absolute value of y is less than or equal to 1. Um, and the cross sections are semicircles. And so to graph the base, um, you can just break this up, um, solve for y, and then break it up into the positives and negatives. Uh, and you get something like, and so then um, we need to find the area of one of these semicircles. So let me just kind of um, choose this one as my um, semicircle. Um, so the area of this semicircle, well, it's, um, I'm going to call it ACS, so area of the cross section is 1 half uh, pi r squared. Okay, now the radius from here to here um, is equal to the um, x value right here. And so since from, uh, let me pick another color, this line right here, this is the line um, x minus 1 equals to y. Um, and so, but since what I want is to, um, I'm going to integrate with respect to, I want to integrate with respect to y because my semicircles move in the uh, direction of the uh, y-axis and they're perpendicular to y. So then uh, what this means is that um, I'm going to have um, to solve for x. So I would get that the, um, the area of the semicircles from here to here are going to be y plus 1. And so that's going to be, um, sorry, that's going to be from negative 1 to uh, 0. Um, this is my radius, and so then I'm going to have 1 half pi times the radius uh, squared. Um, okay, so that's going to give me the area from uh, negative 1 to 0. And then uh, from here, since, uh, let me draw the other line, this line right here, this th is the line uh, y equals to 1 minus x. And so then um, for that part, uh, what I'm looking at is 1 half pi times the integral from 0 to 1 this time because I'm going from uh, y equals 0 to y equals to 1. And then if I solve for x here, I would get um, 1 minus y for my radius and then, of course, squared with respect to y. And if you, um, I mean, another shortcut too is you'll notice it's symmetric. So you only really have to do uh, one of these and then you can multiply it by 2. But at the end of the day, what you'll end up getting is uh, this is uh, pi over 2 times uh, from this one, you're going to get 1 third. And then from this one, um, you're also going to get 1 third. Um, and so this is simply equal to pi over 3.